guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my Robin Hood portfolio. As you can see here, I'm switching things up a bit and we're gonna be talking about the Stash Invest application today. A lot of you guys wanted to see the update from the video I put out, buying every single investment option on the application here. The one stock, Roll with Buffett, the Berkshire Incorporated Class B stock, as well as 34 other ETFs that the application has. And again, as you guys know, the ETFs that the application has are rebranded uh, with catchy titles on the application here. Internet Titans, if we take a look at the overview, is actually the ticker symbol FDN. So a First Trust Dow Jones Internet Index Fund. So kind of a, a nice selection of different types of ETFs here. Blue Ships is actually an underlying ETF as well. MGC, Vanguard, Medicap, ETF. Very, very good fund here. So I just wanted to pop back into the portfolio to see exactly how the performance has been going. And you can see here the total return, 1.59%. And again, to remind you guys, I put in $1,000 at the beginning of June, bought every single investment option. Did not put the same amount of money into each option, but I'll kind of go through and take a look at the percent return. And again, the sort button, I can't really do the assortment by percent return, but we'll go through and evaluate some of the better options on the application here. There are clearly some particular ETFs that are better than others. So I wouldn't recommend anybody jumping onto the platform and buying every single investment that is offered here. I just did it to uh, kind of take a look at the uh, performance of each of the different investment options here. So going through all 36 investments, again, 35 ETFs, one stock, the roll with Buffett, Brookshire Hathaway Class B stock. And you can see here, for the most part, these stocks are doing okay. I think there's a few that are in the negative, but for the most part, they're all in the positive here. Of note here, Modern Meds, overview of the underlying security is XBI, SPDR, S&P, Biotech ETF. And you can see exactly what's incorporated into that particular ETF here, at least some of the top holdings. It's been doing very, very well. Percent return. Uh, has been very good. A little bit of a dividend yield as well, 0.25. I would consider that to be a low dividend yield. But you can see here that per total percent return since I've held the stock, 12.62%. Very, very good there. As we continue scrolling down here, blue chips only up 1.42%. That's somewhat surprising. Uh, let's go to the overview. Underlying security, you can see here, Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook. This is a very, very good underlying security. MGC, Vanguard, Medicap, Megacap excuse me, ETF. I actually have quite a large holding of this in my E-Trade account. Now, very, very good companies with this particular ETF, as you would imagine, for blue chips. Uh, as we continue scrolling down, do the right thing. The underlying ETF here, KLD. And you can see there's quite a bit of overlap with a lot of these ETFs with regards to underlying companies. You can see Apple, Microsoft, 3M, uh, Alphabet, the parent company of Google, is in this particular ETF as well. So there's a lot of overlap, to be honest. The Muddy Machines, again, not doing as well as I would have predicted. The underlying ETF, another Vanguard fund, another great Vanguard fund, VFH, Vanguard Financials ETF. You can see here the top holdings are some very, very good companies. JP Morgan Chase & Company, Wells Fargo, Bank of America. There's that Berkshire Hathaway Incorporated Class B, which is also an independent investment option on the application. Going down uh, on Cloud9, looks like it's been performing well as well. Again, this is over just over a month, or actually just under a month. So 3.7% for just under a month is very, very good. You can see the underlying security, SKYY, First Trust ISE Cloud Computing Index. And again, you can see kind of an overlap with the other ETFs as well. There's Facebook, there's Amazon, uh, some other companies as well. But again, a lot of the larger Blue chip companies are represented in almost all of these particular ETFs. Aggressive mix up 2.42%. We can see the underlying security with this one, AOR, iShares Core Growth Allocation ETF. Uh, a little bit safer investment option with regards to uh, some of the uh, bonds in here. But again, this is an aggressive mix. So it's supposed to be a little bit more risky, but I would need to, I guess, analyze everything in that particular ETF. Uh, social Media Mania. Also, another very good ETF has Facebook, uh, Alphabet as well. So a lot of these companies, almost all of these ETFs have Apple and Facebook 
in them, uh, the percentage is going to be a little bit different, but they almost all have the big uh, blue chip companies, the uh, very, very large cap blue chip companies. Colossal China is up 2.09%. And then if we go to the bottom here, some of these stocks are in the negative. Uh, Uncle Sam, slow and steady. Let's see what the worst one is. Retail therapy, which as you can imagine would be very, very bad with regards to overall return. JC Penney has not been doing well. Uh, Urban Outfitters has not been doing well. A lot of these companies have not been performing well. And as you can imagine, the stock, the ETF XRT here, SPDR, S&P retail ETF has not been doing well either. So again, here you can see uh, Wireless Wonders has not been doing well either. Telecoms have been down a bit. I have actually been buying a little bit of AT&T. I think it's a great stock in a long-term sense. It's got a great dividend yield. Verizon I would avoid, but I've been definitely buying some AT&T in the Robinhood portfolio. So again, went ahead, bought $1,000 worth of Stash Invest ETFs and that one stock, Berkshire uh, Hathaway, Class B stock, total return 1.59%. So it has not been doing that well, to be quite honest. But I think if you selectively pick the better stocks in Stash Invest, there is some utility in having this application. And again, for younger investors, new investors who don't have a lot of experience, who don't have a lot of capital, Stash Invest is really one of the only applications I know of that you can invest in a fractional sense. On Robinhood, you cannot do that. So Internet Titans here, for example, overview. The stock trades at $96.13. If you can't afford that, you can simply buy $5 worth of that stock in a fractional sense on Stash Invest. On Robinhood, you can't do that. So I think there's some utility. But once you start getting a portfolio up at least to $500, $1,000 range, I would take that money out of Stash Invest, put it into Robinhood, and buy the same ETFs, only owning an, an entire share and then having not... Uh, having to pay that uh, fee, a dollar per month for portfolios less than $2,500. I think it's a much better idea than holding on to Stash Invest here and paying that fee per month. So just wanted to quickly jump into Stash Invest here. I know a lot of you guys were wondering how the portfolio has been doing. Again, I had bought all of the investment options back in the beginning of June. You can see the total return, 1.59%. So over a one-month span, that's not too bad. Definitely are better options in the portfolio, there definitely are some options you probably want to avoid. I would definitely would not advocate buying all of the investment options here, but I just wanted to have a little bit of fun, take a look at the portfolio, analyze it with regards to all of the options to see which ones are performing better than others. So again, put $1,000 in beginning of June, total return 1.59%. I'll continue to follow along here. Probably after a few months, I'll take the money out and put it back into Robinhood if the portfolio is not performing well. Because again, it's going to be charged a dollar per month to maintain the portfolio. So yeah, just wanted to quickly jump into Stash Invest here. Let me know if you guys are still on Stash Invest or you guys have also moved over to Robinhood. A lot of you guys have been mentioning that you literally started on Stash Invest. And after getting some experience, you guys have switched over to Robinhood. So let me know if you guys are still on this application or not. I'll probably get out of the application after a few more months of following along. So yeah, not to make the video too long, I'll kind of end it there. As always, if you guys enjoy my videos, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And until next video, we'll see you then.